The question that often does come up is how can I use infinite radiance panel in my images to make it completely different than what I had to begin with? So this is something that I think is really important because this image here, for example, is shot by Akash Bali, and he was gracious enough to let us use this image for demonstration purposes. I love the mood of this image, and I'm very curious to see how I can actually enhance it to make it moodier and more interesting. And so let's say, for example, this is, has a very nice and cinematic look, and I'm just going to be going through my thoughts as I think about this. I actually haven't played with this image yet, and so this is going to be very interesting to see what I come up with as you are watching. So let's say that I kind of want to go ahead and take the sky itself and, and push this in a more dramatic fashion because the nighttime itself is relatively in the blue channel and anything else is not in the blue channel. It makes it really easy for me to pull and push nighttime values, especially with hues that are cooler. And it makes really nice contrast because the lights here in this scene are nice and warm and really relaxing. So I kind of like this juxtaposition of colors going on as well as the night light. So let's go ahead and push uh, infinite radiance towards the blues. And I'm going to go ahead and see what happens. So you see what actually happens as you push them towards the blues, they get actually brighter. And I can tell you because if I turn them on and off, they get brighter and the lights inside get darker. So it's kind of like the opposite effect. So what I simply will do is I'm going to go ahead and right click on the circle itself and it'll jump to the other side of the spectrum. That's a little tip in case you didn't know about that. And what it will do now is I get an idea of how much is darkening the environment. And I love this because I kind of get to see what it's doing to the image already. And I can see how beautiful the colors look in the sky and how the colors look in the actual um, lights itself. So that's really handy. I think I really like that. And this is one quick, easy way to actually enhance a particular mood of an image. As you can see, it didn't even take a lot for me to get there. And I can always analyze this layer as well by changing luminosity and going to say normal and you can see the exact values and what's kind of happening in the scene in black and white in case you're curious. Another way to do that is instead of going to luminosity, I can simply add a black and white adjustment layer really quick to see what's going on in the scene as well. Another fun little tidbit here is you can also change the blend mode from luminosity to say soft light if you want to increase that as well or even better, if you want to increase the intensity, just use our built-in sliders for you to actually use the intensity that you want. So if you want to go for something super dramatic, then that's what uh, you could do as well. But obviously, Akash didn't uh, have any direction for me when I was using this as demonstration, and I'm just curious to see what it does to the image. Another really fun thing to do here is just swirl around across the image and see what happens as you go through each of these areas. It updates automatically and it keeps a total at 100, so it keeps the image nice and balanced. And for me, this is something that I really liked. And in case you feel like you know increasing the luminosity of certain colors might uh, not keep the saturation as well as you'd like, or you want to increase the saturation for some particular colors, I can then just add a hue and saturation adjustment layer on top, go to, say, yellows, and just simply increase them. And now, automatically, I have a more saturated environment internally as the lights go up and the darker blue tones in the environment. So there you go. I hope this gives you a good example. And please do check out our other videos on using the Infinite Radiance panel.